Hi viewers, in this class we are going to discuss biological rhythms. Apart from the animal behavior, this is one important topic, biological rhythms. Behavioral attitudes released in accordance to stimuli usually, but in most organisms they release irrespective of changes that occur in nature. For example, in some of the insects, crustaceans, molluscans, annelids and even in the mammals, some insects, they active during daytime and they take rest during night time. And some of them, they active during night time and they take rest during daytime. So it is again happening in a rhythmic manner. Those which are active during the day night, they are known as the diurnal organisms. And those which are active during night time, they are known as nocturnal organisms. So it is repeating daily with a certain periodicity, with a certain gap. So that it is known as diurnal periodicity or nocturnal periodicity. For example, if you take into consideration the cockroach, it is always active during the night time and it is kept quiet in its habitat during the day time. And even the scorpions, they are active during night time and day time they are keeping, they are taking rest. So these active and inactive stages, they are exhibited in a regular manner. This rhythmic behavior is, this kind of behavior is known as a rhythmic behavior. Whenever the organism is active, at a certain stage, their behavior is in a peak stage. Within the active period, at a certain stage, at a certain point, the behavior is in the peak stage. For example, if you observe the yucca pugnax, that is the fiddler crab, the peak stage may be twice in a day, that is during dawn and dusk. Dawn and dusk. That is, whenever the tides level is very low and in accordance to the low tides level, the active stage of these Yucapagnax or fiddler crab is associated. That is, after the low tides of about 3 to 4 hours, there will be a peak stage in the behavior of the Yucapagnax. We can define the biological rhythms. One or more biological events that occur and reoccur in time in a repeated order and with a repeated interval between occurrences. The periodic phenomena in living organisms and their adaptation to solar and lunar related rhythms is known as the biological rhythms. These biological rhythms, if you uh, keep the organisms in a restricted laboratory and if you provide the environment that is the organism may not know the things which are happening in the external environment although it shows the same kind of rhythmic behavior and the study of the meaning of chronobiology is chrono is equal to time and the study of all the biological rhythms, biological clocks, then that is known as the chronobiology. Biological rhythms are ways that organism adapt and live with the environmental rhythms around them such as spin of the earth, movement of the earth around the sun 
and movement of moon around the earth biological rhythms allow an organism to harmonize successfully with its environment and if you in all the organisms the scientists did not conducted all the experiments related to the biological rhythms but in those they conducted the experiment every organism has the biological rhythm so that the biological rhythms are omnipresent the biological rhythms may be two types exogenous and endogenous exogenous biological rhythms are driven directly by the environment or another external influence that is direct effect an example of an exogenous biological rhythm is the hopping of sparrows on a perch when a light is turned on such rhythms are said to have a geophysical counterpart with the presence of light in contrast endogenous biological rhythms are driven by internal biological clocks and are maintained even when environmental cues environmental signals are removed some example of some examples of endogenous biological rhythms are the wake sleep cycle and the daily body temperature cycles sometimes it is difficult to uh, determine whether the activity of an animal is due to a direct effect or that of an endogenous biological clock because the two types of rhythms can mask each other and come to the characteristics of biological clocks the true biological clocks have the four important characteristics the first one is the the clock is endogenous it means that the organism have an innate ability to maintain periods of a particular length between biological functions experiments in space with animals completely isolated from earth bound geophysical input have supported the innate nature of the clocks the second one the clock is temperature independent very unusual situation in biology but an essential character to avoid biological rhythms being governed by the weather third one biological clocks have the ability to be reset in order to maintain a relationship with environmental cues finally the fourth one is biological clocks are an internal continuous monitor of the passage of time allowing the organism to keep track of duration biologically biological rhythms are many types for our convenience we have divided them into six circadian rhythms diurnal alteradian infradian tidal and the lunar rhythms circadian rhythms the 24 hour cycle the 24 hour cycle they show that includes physiological and behavioral rhythms like sleeping in the latin language circa means around and dies means day around the day, 24 hour cycle diurnal rhythms the circadian rhythm synced with the day and the night organisms active during day and the night time diurnal day time nocturnal night time and alteradian rhythms biological rhythms with a shorter period and higher frequency than circadian rhythms infradian biological rhythms that last more than 24 hours such as a menstrual cycle tidal rhythms commonly observed in marine life which follow the roughly 12.4 hour transition time from high to low tide and back and lunar rhythms which follow the lunar month 29.5 days they are relevant and for marine life as the level of the tides is modulated across the lunar cycle so these are all types of biological rhythms within each cycle 
of the biological rhythms the time period during which the process is more active is called as a acrophase during which the organism is in the active phase that is a acrophase when the process is less active the cycle is in the bathy phase or trough phase the particular moment of highest activity is called as the peak or maximum the lowest point point is a nadir and high process gets is measured by the uh, higher low process of the biological rhythms is get measured by amplitude of that rhythm amplitude of that rhythm apart from all the biological rhythms the most studied type of biological rhythms is circadian rhythms which fluctuate on daily basis alertness or uh, which are they fluctuate on the daily basis alertness body temperature and the circulating concentrations of the growth hormone cortisol and potassium are examples of the physiological functions that run on a circadian basis the circadian clock plays a physical mental and behavioral role that respond to light and dark whereas infradian cycles last above above half about a month or longer menstruation in the human adult female is an example of an infradian biological rhythm circannual cycles annual means year they last of about a year over winter hibernation as a common example the shortest cycles are the ultradian where the cycles are less than 24 hours heart rate and breathing are two examples of ultradian biological rhythms some biological rhythms occur more than one a once a day and are called as the ultradian rhythms the release of hormones from the male pituitary gland of mammals occurs about every 1 to 2 hours during the day sleep cycles that is the cycle from drowsiness to rem rapid eye movement or dream sleep sleep to dozing then light and deep sleep and finally slow wave sleep is a 90 minute cycle sleep that repeats itself during a night sleep constant breathing and the beating of our hearts are also alternating rhythms but these activities are also affected by the daily sleep or wake cycle which is a circadian rhythm heart rate and breathing both slow the during the sleep the biological rhythms are very important in different fields uh, they are mostly used is very useful when they are utilized in the agriculture industry and apiculture there is honey industry and even in the lac culture this is all about the biological rhythms thank you thank you one and all for more videos watch and subscribe my youtube channel swami zoology thank you